One of the main things I didn't like about Doom Eternal The Ancient Gods Part 1 was how little it expanded on the demonic enemies. Yes, the arenas are relentless, full to the brink and limit with demons that will completely destroy you if you are not careful. But all of those demons offer the same mechanic we saw back in the base campaign. The UAC Atlantica, the first mission of the DLC, offers no new enemies, for the exception of the eye turrets, which are considered hazards in the codex of the game. It's not until the blood swamps that we we are reintroduced to the summoner, a demon spirit that possesses demons and buffs them at the same time. And it is not until the last mission, the Holt, where we meet the blood angels, guards of the maker society that have been corrupted by the forces of hell. The summoner is outright annoying on how it can make all the demons it possesses into bullet sponges. And the blood angels are even more annoying when they hit you with their staggering spear. It is a good combo. The Summoner makes you retreat and find ways to stay in the air while you deal with the possessed demon, and the blood angel can stop you in your tracks, making you vulnerable to take a ton of goddamn damage. It is a good combination of demons, but I think its software can expand the board even more. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about which demons from older Doom games should make a return to the franchise. Maybe not on Ancient Gods Part 2, as it is already being developed, but maybe in future DLCs, or maybe in the next Doom game. If you like Doom and want to know everything about the franchise, consider subscribing, click the bell to get all future videos, and leave a huge like right now. If this video reaches 10,000 likes, I'll say Doom 100,000 times on stream. Enjoy the video. Before I begin, this is not a tier list of which demon should be prioritized by its software. Every demon will just be random in order. Let's go. Number 1. The Chain Gunner. I cannot be the only one that wants this idiot to be brought back into the franchise. Ever since the reboot of Doom, we have yet to see a demon with the same qualities of the Chain Gunner. A big tough, relentless demon soldier that shoots you with a chain gun. One thing I noticed in Doom Eternal is how all the human enemies are just fodder. The shield guys, shotgunners, and engineers. The marauder is the only human demon that ranks above father, but he is not a pressure unit, he goes right to kill you. The chain gunner could be the first human demon to be ranked as a heavy demon, up there with the Mancubus, Hell Knight, and Arachnetron. Doom Eternal pays homage to Doom 2 Hell on Earth, and bringing back the chain gunner could take us back to 1994 in a matter of seconds. Like that. Number 2. The Spider Mastermind. If its software was able to fit a cyber demon in the arenas of Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods, and make him a recurring sub-boss of each arena, they can, to amp up the encounters even more, and give us a change of pace, give us a huge spider in some of the arenas. Just like they did in the original Doom 2, where some arenas had some cyber demons and spider masterminds, they should find a way to do it in Eternal as well. The spider mastermind is one of the most iconic Iconic demons in Doom, and one of the most iconic enemy bosses in the history of the industry. A proper comeback of the Mastermind in Eternal will make fans of the series very happy indeed, and the Mastermind could be added as yet another super heavy demon. Everyone loves the super heavy demon class, they are all so badass and powerful. Number 3. The Bruiser the Bruiser is a sub-boss demon from Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. It's sort of like a Dread Knight, but bigger and fiercer. The Bruiser was one of the sub-bosses of the Resurrection of Evil DLC, and it was a big, fierce asshole that could destroy you if you weren't careful. The Bruiser could easily be on the Super Heavy Demon class, replacing the Baron of Hell in certain arenas to not be that repetitive and add more variety to the game. Also, he just looks awesome. The Bruiser's design looks truly like something from hell. It's warped and effed up. Probably one of my favorite designs in the entire series. Number 4. The Harvester. 
Back in 2016, the Harvester was not in the main campaign, but in the multiplayer. If you picked up a demon rune on multiplayer, you could become the Harvester. This evolution of the summoner that proved to be more devastating and powerful than its predecessor. The Harvester could easily be the super heavy demon class and replace assholes like the Archival or just spawn both the Harvester and the Archival at the same time. The Prowler was also a demon that was only available in the multiplayer of Doom, but it was brought back to the main campaign as an enemy AI in Eternal. So why cannot the Harvester get the same treatment? I don't know, please tell me it's software. Number 5. The Megath. If its software wants hell to truly feel like hell, they need to bring back the Megath an enemy from Doom 3 that resembles something that was pulled from the warp from Warhammer 40k. The Megath is not that special in terms of combat, as it is just a crossbreed between the Imp and the Raid from Doom 3, but its aspect, the way it moves and attacks, can really make you feel effed up because of how creepy it is. Magath could easily be up there in the Heavy Demon class alongside the Hell Knight and the Prowler, which are on the same level as him. Number 6. The Tick and the Trite. This motherfu- The Tick and the Trite are these little giant spiders that came in swarms in Doom 3. The only reason to bring back these assholes is to pressure you in the combat arenas. Just like the flood of pure forms from Halo, little insects that swarm you and do passive damage while you fight against the bigger threat. Design-wise, they look like they were brought from the very depths from hell. Aesthetic-wise, they are really creepy and ugly, and combat-wise, in huge numbers, they can really make the difference. In Doom 3, like 16 or 15 years ago, its software made with the limitation of their engine, this mother truckers to spawn in swarms. Now, in Doom Eternal and with it Tech 7, its software can truly make this asshole spawn in real big gigantic swarms, just like the flood from Halo Combat Evolve. And it will add yet another layer of gameplay to some arenas, and you will need to learn how to stay and fight in the air. Something that is and feels Truly marvelous once you master it. Okay, so I didn't just mention all these demons randomly in hopes that it will add them sometime in the future. I mentioned them because I really believe that they could add more value and yet another layer of difficulty and gameplay to the game. Maybe to Ancient Gods Part 2, future DLCs, or maybe to the future Doom game. They are all they all offer different mechanics that would squeeze every last drop of performance out of us while looking extremely cool while doing so. The Bruiser could very much be the upgraded version of the Dread Knight, just like how the Cyber Mancubus is the upgraded version of the Mancubus. The Bruiser could very much be a super heavy demon, replacing the Burn of Hell in certain arenas. One thing that is very no noted in the Ancient Gods Part 1 is how much barons and cyber demons they throw at us. And that is not bad, I mean it's really hard and it is awesome because it's, it's, a, it's a challenge, it's not easy. But uh, you can tell that you can make the argument that that is repetitive. Throwing like 5 cyber demons and 11 burns of hell in the first mission, that is the definition of repetitive. Instead, if they added the Bruiser and the Spider Mastermind, they could throw like 3 cyber demons, 2 Spider Masterminds, 5 barons, and 6 Bruisers. To make the level feel more refreshed, not so repetitive, because each demon needs a different approach to kill it, so that will make the game feel more fresh, refreshed, fresco el pana. The Spider Mastermind is mentioned in the codex of the game, yet it is nowhere to be seen. The Chain Gunner truly fits the sandbox of the game, I mean, it is the goddamn Chain Gunner. If the Ancient Gods Part 1 is going to be Plutonia 3, better it up like a goddamn Chain Gunner. Of course, imagine, just imagine looking at the Chain Gunner in HD 3D graphics with ETEC 7. That will be absolutely fantastic. 
fantastic and the chain gunner can very much be a heavy demon there's no there's not a single human demon a human soldier or a human zombie that was corrupted by hell that is on a heavy on, a, on the heavy demon class no one the chain gunner can be the first human demon enemy that, that, that can be on the heavy demon class and again it is an amazing demon design that needs to be brought back okay not ugo if you're watching this video the chain gunner is obviously not going to be a hit scanner of course not i mean just make the bullets that go out from the chain gun faster than the bullets that go out from the chain gun of the Doom Hunter. Because if they are not, they are going to be really easy to dodge. Make it hard. We want a challenge. But yes, chain gunner truly fits the sandbox of the game of the game. And fighting in the air while thousands of rounds pass right beside you would be so badass. It just works. In my honest opinion, it just works and makes sense and makes the game even more badass, interesting, refreshed and fun. So, it's software, please add some of the demons from this list. I know that a lot of fans will be really, will appreciate it a lot. But anyways, thanks for watching. And so, okay, Spotsons, that was all the time I had for today's video. Please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, any dislike if you disliked it. It is completely fine. Thanks to all of my patrons that made this video possible. And links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch. I began streaming again on Twitch at the base slash this button. So be sure to follow me there. Have an awesome day. Adios. Bye. Oh.